Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to a brand new video. Today in this video we'll be making this cool Minecraft um, inspired text in GIMP. So the whole point of this tutorial is not about the Minecraft text. Um, it's about using a plugin I found um, which enables GIMP to make 3D extrusions. I'll leave a link in the description for this. And this plugin can also be found um, in last week's tutorial. Okay, so so we're going to make Minecraft inspired text here. So I don't care if you don't like Minecraft. I don't care what you think of Minecraft. This is this is the tutorial. Tutorial. Okay. Anyway, so it's not an exact replica. It's what I could think of and what I could make with um, the 3D. And I'm sure you guys could probably figure out the exact thing to make. Um, the cracks can be added in later by you guys. Um, so we're just going to be covering the main concept of this text. So you're going to be needing two downloads. Um, one, the Minecrafter font. I'll leave a link in the description. And two, the... Um, 3D Extrusions plugin, and three, the ScriptFu Layer Styles plugin, which I shall leave a link to in the description for all of these things. Um, so thanks very much for watching this, um, and let's get started. So the document size doesn't actually matter, and thinking about it now, I just want to add a quick background gradient. So I'm going to choose a dark black to a grey. And I'm just going to set this on that, and we'll put it on a radial gradient, and we're just going to hold shift and drag it. Let's just switch these around so it's like so. Okay. So this is the text we're going to make. So to start off, you need to... Um, make a type layer so just make a new layer I'll just block this out oh no no not there um a type layer since i've already made a type layer here i've used the minecraft a3 font um, size a3 that all depends on your image size and the color i recommend using is aea 4a2 so, and make that the colour of our text here. And I've also added a bit of perspective with the perspective with the perspective tool. I've just dragged the two bottom nodes, these two nodes, out a bit. So it gives it this effect. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to filters, render, 3D extrusion. Okay, and it'll bring up this script for 3D extrusions dialog. The first thing that happens is the sh extrusion type. We're going to edit this to shrink. The extrusion depth, we're going to set to 15. The extrusion direction is 90. The, uh, the bump azimuth is 90 as well. Let's make that 90. The bump elevation will stick to the default. I think it's 45. Um, pump depth, 65. And the ambient light bump thing is just going to set on 100 so and then leave the rest like i've done it okay so so we've got our text here it is looking pretty nice the first thing we want to do before we go on is we're going to right click on our first minecraft font and we're going to alpha selection this we're then going to hit command or control x to cut that out then command shift A. So here we have our extrusion layer just by itself, see? With, with and without. The first thing we're going to do is right click alpha to selection. Then we're going to get our fill tool. Let me just make it visible. Fill tool and fill it in with this grey 29292B. That's the HTML notation. And we're going to fill that in with that colour. We're then going to get black or dark grey, I'll use black, with our paintbrush tool, any brush, and we're just going to paint up there. Oh, just paint there, paint there, paint there. 
and we're going to deselect that. You can either go to edit, uh, sorry, select none, or can command or control shift A. So now we've got these filled out, it's looking pretty nice already. The next thing we want to do is duplicate our original Minecraft text and we're going to merge it down with our extrusion layer. So we've got just one solid layer of extrusion. And now we're going to go to script foo layer effects stroke just to add a small outline. I'll set it on five and done. So that's our script, um, our stroke done. I just didn't want to waste time. I just use a script foo stroke. Okay. We're now going to add our, um, let me just move this layer to the top, our gloss down the bottom, you see? Gloss, oh no, looks pretty good. Um, one thing I did forget is to colour in with black, is just there. With the T over there. Okay. So, now let's add a bit of a gloss. So we're going to make a new layer, and we're going to alpha to selection, our text layer here, and we're going to get a the rectangular marquee tool, or the rectangular select tool, whatever you call it, um, and select it down here. We're then going to fill it with this selected color, D9C6C6, and bam, deselect that. And we've got a bit of a gloss going, so we're going to just keep that on full intensity. And we're just going to add one last gloss. So alpha to selection again, make a new layer, and we're going to get a um, lip select tool and make sure it's on this mode. Make sure both of them are set on this mode here. Sorry about that. Um, hope you can backtrack two seconds. Okay. Um looking good um, so let's fill this with white and we're going to lower the opacity to add a bit of a gloss and now as you can see we've got our stroke here it doesn't look very good um, this bottom stroke here so when we can find our um, stroke we're just going to fill it's gonna get up so, sorry, on our extrusion layer, let's just make a smaller brush, 15, and we'll just zoom in a bit. See this? We're going to fill that in with black. And any other bits you think should be um, black, make sure to alpha to selection it so you don't get out of those lines. That doesn't look too good. Anything. The rest looks pretty fine. Now you can just zoom out. And there we have it. Our cool Minecraft inspired text. I just need to fix it up. It's got a bit of a... Um, oh, it's on, the, it's on the actual stroke. I need to sort that out. Um, we'll just zoom in on our stroke layer. Get the eraser tool. Make sure it's set on a square brush square brush and we'll just where is it here there we go and then we'll fill it in with this block brush bam, bam, bam. there we go does it look better like that um, let's have a look um, yeah, it looks okay. I'd rather have it like that. Okay, you can also add, make this a gradient as well. So you could have made it a gradient. And you can add the cracks later. Um, you can cut them out and add them in. But for now, we've got this really nice, clean, simple um, Minecraft inspired text. So I'm happy with that. Um, you could have made the, the actual text darker. I think that would have made a better look. Um, let me just see what colour I set it to. That. We, yeah, we could have made it like something, something like that. 
to see how it looks. And then you could have um, edited the gloss a bit. Um, but it's up to you really how you want your text to look. Look, um, so thank you very much for watching this tutorial and I'll catch you in my next tutorial.